Kalala Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem Raka Kadash Raka to Yahweh Raka to Yahushai Double honors to the apostles and elders who rule with a great millstone and bless this annotation to the Akiyams worldwide teaching the gospel in sincerity and truth Shalom This is brother Yahweh Come now listen to edify the Bayat Dawada the 144,000 in one men, women and children Israelites that scatter among these heathens and look like these heathens, you so called blacks, Latinos, and Native American, you are God's chosen people. I just want to do a quick lesson on this article just to show that the judicial administration of Trinidad and Tobago, the decree, unrighteous decree. Right? And I'm going to prove my point in this lesson why I said this. Right? It's a woman charged with assaulting baby. So a woman was a woman was a woman was charged with assaulting baby. But in this country and worldwide, a woman could go on parent planet parent um parent planning hood. She could take injection to prevent her from being pregnant. She could she could she could she could go on sterilization. She could take board control shot. She could take board control pill. She could take board control implant, right? And also she could go to the abortion center and commit murder. And she could walk free. But with this incident now, this woman, you know, was in an altercation with I don't know if it's a family member or what, but as I read through the article you can see, right? It's um the show you it show the, the, the judicial administration of this of, of Trinidad and Tobago they decree unrighteous decree right and Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is going to destroy this place right they're going to destroy this place and through the spirit and power Yahweh Bashem Yahweh the most I judge the woman and of and the toddler right because under the heaven is the place of judgment as the ten Ecclesiastes 3 I think it's um it's 3 and 17 or 3 and 16 let me make sure I call the right precept right it's under the heaven is where you get judged right you understand and you live more than once so whatever you did in your past life and you and this flesh dying your spirit go back up to the heavenly father in every three or four generations you just come back and you just want to face for your judgment for the for the good things you do and the bad things you do right yes ecclesiastes 3 and 16 and moreover I saw under the sun the place of judgment that wickedness was there and the place of righteousness that iniquity was there so under the sun is the place where it get judged you know not like with these Christians we telling you that you know you gotta go to hell you know them out of their mind right it said the woman who alleged, allegedly hit a 20 month toddler boy on the head with a piece of wood during a altercation with child grandmother appeared before the Shaquana Magistrate Court on Tuesday. Kellyanne Mercury, 36 of Enterprise Shaquana, faced se Senior Magistrate Ranjan Rajanjar Rambakchan, charged with intent to cause grievous body harm to the child last Sunday at Enterprise Shaguanas. She was not called upon to plead to the in, in the indicatable charge laid by the corporal Phillips so she was charged right with intent to cause grievous bod bodily harm to a child what about these abortion center what about these abortion center you understand that's why I said the judicial administration of this country the decree on righteous decree so if you can charge this woman for that you gotta close down, close down these abortion center. You gotta close down these pharmacies, these pharmacies. You understand? You gotta close these things down, right? You understand? He said, defense attorney Shiva Budu told the court the child had been discharged from the hospital. A medical was also prevent um, present for the boy who had been treated at the hospital. They said Budu told the court there was no intention by his client to hit the child. 
he claimed that Mercury was attacked by, by the victim and defend her, and defend herself lead to lead to for her being before the court she was arrested on Tuesday, right? So right the scripture said no 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 one perished being innocent. Job four and seven. So the child not innocent, the toddler not innocent, and the woman are innocent. The most I bring judgment on both of them. But the point is that the judicial administration of this country, the decree, an unrighteous decree. This is the point I want to bring over, right? A matter of fact, let me get a precept here, right? Let me get a quick precept, right? Because you're not supposed to come, you're not supposed to um, go and do abortion. That's against the law, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. That transgression, that sin. But yet, say, you allow it. You see, you see, you see this, you see in this, this um, in in Isa kingdom is a is a bunch of is a bunch of hypocrites, you understand? A bunch of evil doers, right? Acting like they know they they upright and they 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 wise, you know? But the man, the Lord, we're gonna see straight through you, hypocrites, right? This is the Hosea. Let me read this because the Lord, the Lord, see you gonna fight against these people because they despise this ways. Right, this is um Salakia. Right. We see straight through these hypocrites. You understand? We can't wait to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai bring judgment on these politicians. You know? You understand? This is Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. He said, Hear the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. He children of Israel, you so called blacks, Latinos, and native. <coughs> Salakia. Yeah, and he's back again. Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. He hear the word of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shahi, children of Israel, which is you so called blacks, Latinos, and Native American. For the Lord had a controversy with the inhabitant of the land. So the Lord's striving against the, the inhabitant of the land. And you can see why the Lord's striving against them, right? Because there is no truth. There is no truth nor mercy nor knowledge of the most high in the land and this is why the lord gonna destroy you politician the lord gonna destroy this this to do so um this um this whole wicked demonic system that is either my setup the lord gonna destroy it judicial the judicial system the lord gonna destroy it you understand because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of the Mosai in the land. You understand? Let me just run this. Let me show you. Let me show you something. What they say, right? This is um. He said, "Try not to be go into juice, into the introduction of the con contraceptive implant on World Population Day." Right, the Lord said to be fruitful and multiply. These people are demonic, and the Lord gonna get each and every one of y'all, right? But we understand why this world population day and all these contraceptive um, um, implant, Planned Parenthood. We understand why all these things happening because these heathen don't want to get rid of us, right? The Edomite, the so-called white man, want to eradicate the children of Israel. The same thing they try to do in Egypt when they say kill all the males and, and leave the women. It is the same thing they're doing today. Right? The Egyptians do it. Right? You understand? What are these, what are these demonic people? The Lord are going to get each and every one of them. What the pride on their face? Like, they do, like they're doing something righteous. Right? It's, um, it's uh, on, on Satrin Dan Tobago on. On Saturday, 14 of July, 2018, in collab collaboration with the Ministry of Planning and Development, the Ministry of Sport and Youth Affairs, the Office of the Prime Minister, General Chief of Chief um, Child Affairs and HIV, the Port of um, Spain City Cooperation, the Santa Grande Regional Cooperation, the Pan American Health Organization, the United Nations Econo uh, Economic Commission for Latin America and the Caribbean, the network of the Rural Woman Producer, 
the Family Planning Association of Trinidad and Tobago and, and other civil society, right? Parent Convent and Community Marketplace at the Gu Guso Secondary School in Santa Grande. He said the event was organized to bring awareness and key service to the resident of the rural Santa Grande whilst providing the perfect platform to launch the introduction of the contraceptive implant contraceptive implant to Trinidad and Tobago in line with the WPD 2018 T family planning is human right. Family planning is human right. See Lord gonna destroy these people. You understand? So a woman could go and murder a child in her womb. But she not gonna she not gonna go to court and get charged like the woman who, who hit the toddler in, in the in the head with a with a piece of a piece of wood. You understand? They show you they show there's a bunch of hypocrites. Right? Let me get this next article here, right? This is board control. Right? Board control implant, contraceptive implant. What is board control implant? Board control implant are device that go under woman's skin the relief hormone that prevent pregnancy you understand that's murder that is murder you understand right that's a evil that's a evil work right the lord said go forth and be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth be full the earth you understand the scripture say that right the scripture say that the Lord said, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. Right? This is, um... This is, uh... Let me get this a quick. Genesis chapter 1, verse 28. He said, the power blessed them, and the power said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. The word blessed me to full and subdue it and have dominion over, over the fish, over the sea, and over the fowl and over the air and over every living thing that move it upon the earth you understand right right you understand the scripture also said cheering our heritage to the lord so you destroying the lord heritage and this plan is against you against you so-called blacks latins and native american these devices against you you understand these devices to you right it said, um, right. It said the implant available in the U.S. is next, next, um, next platon. It is a, it is a, um, newer version of the implant in platon. You might hear people call them armband. The implant is a plastic rod about the size, about the size of a matchstick. It contains a form of the hormone progest progesterone called um, tinogestrol. Right? Just want to read something here. quick. Here we see how effective is the birth control implant. Hormone, hormonal implant work more than 99% of the time. How did, how, how did they stack up to birth control? Metals into our urine, urine device. He said IUD are also 99% effective, but control injection are 94% effective, and the pill 91% effective. But none of these metals protect you from sexual transmitted disease. Only condom prevent you, and condom another another board control um, device that they use right you understand right so that's why you know i ask the question you know what about these women who go into these um, abortion center and commit um it's been allowed to commit abortion you understand right let me get this here Exodus chapter 23, verse 26. They shall nothing cast their young, nor be barren in thy land. 
the number of thy days will I fulfill. Right? Go to the word cast, which is shakol, which means to which means to do abortion. Right? The word is shakol, and it says barrenness or abortion. You're not supposed to do that. Right? When you come to strong definition, it says shakol, a a permanent root. Right? He said to miscarry, i.e. To miscarry, i.e. suffer abortion. You understand? You're not supposed to do abortion. But yet still, you know, they allow it in this country. They allow women to go and do that. You understand? <coughs> they allow women to go and do it. <coughs> you understand? But you wanna you wanna come down on a woman, right? And that's so now here to justify it. The woman action because I know the most I bring judgment on she, right? But showing that you're not supposed to do abortion is, is a is a transgression. You understand? Is a transgression, and that's why the Lord said, um, that's why the Lord said, hey, right? That's why the Lord said, me get it, um, Isaiah 10. He said, Woe to Isaiah 10 and 1. He said, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decree. You understand? So, the, the, the judicial system or the judicial administration of this country, Trinidad and Tobago, they decree unrighteous decree. You want to you wanna charge a woman for inflicting harm on a toddler, but you're not going to charge a woman to go into the abortion center and commit murder. When the, when the, when the law said, Thou shalt not murder. Right? Thou shalt not mourn. Y'all is a bunch of hypocrites. And the Lord going to get each and every one of y'all. You understand? The Lord going to get y'all. This is um, Exodus chapter 20 verse 13. Thou shalt not kill. But when you go to the, when you go to the, when you go to the Hebrew word, right, you can tell you it's murder. Right? The word is ra, ra, rasha. Right? Rasha, which means murder. Right? Strong's H seventy five twenty three, Ratzach, 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 which means to murder. You understand to murder, right? And go commit, go and do abortion is murder, right? Is murder, right? You understand? This is why the Lord said a decree on righteous decree. Isaiah 10 and 1, woe mean destruction to them that decree unrighteous decree. Woe to the judicial administration of this country. And most are going to destroy each and every one of y'all. Right? Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decree and right grievous which they have prescribed. You understand? The Lord is going to destroy you people. Right? The Lord is going to destroy you people. You understand? Because uh, the heritage are destroying the Mosai heritage. And like I mentioned, this device is only against the children of Israel. Against you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indian. This device is against you. Right? You understand? And this is where you are destroying. You are destroying the Lord heritage. This is why the Lord is going to come down on you wicked niggas. Right? You understand? Let me get Psalms 127. I mean, I can read verse 3. It said, Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. So, what the hell are you talking about population control and, um, and board control? No, Planned Parenthood is human rights. The Lord is going to get you wicked, demonic people. Right? This is what this demon say here. Right? In this article. Family planning is human rights. The Lord gonna get you demonic people. You understand? Right? The Lord gonna get each and every one of y'all. Do hand, join the hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. But like I say, I'm not justifying this woman's action. I'm not saying that she shouldn't be punished because it's the most high bring judgment on she and the toddler. Right? You understand? But that's showing you the judicial system and administration of this country, the decree on righteous decree. You understand? I Psalms 127 verse 3 Lo, children are a heritage of the Lord 
and the fruit of the womb is his reward. So you are destroying the heritage of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai because this device is against the so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. And it's the same thing the Egyptian was doing to us. And it's the same thing the, 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 the modern day Egyptian, which is the so called white man, doing to us. And then they had these, these, these other nations join up with them and our own people. The Lord gonna get each and every one of you motherfuckers. You understand? Excuse my French. Right, the scripture says he that increase in wisdom, increase in grief. You understand? That's roughly paraphrasing. Right? The Lord gonna get each and every one of y'all. Right? This is the same thing these these um, these Hamite was doing. Let me get it. The scripture, the most I said there's nothing new under the sun. This is um um this is Exodus uh, Exodus chapter one verse um fifteen says the king of Egypt speak to the Hebrew midwife of which the name of of one was um Shafara and the name of the other was Puha and he said when he do the office of the midwife to the Hebrew woman and he see them upon the stool and this is how you make children upon a stool now all these devil guys like them on a bed against gravity on a stool you supposed to on a stool and push the child out right he said if if it be a son then he shall kill him but if it be a daughter then he shall then 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 she shall live but the midwife feared the Mosai and did not as the king of Egypt commanded them to save the men child alive you understand so this is the same thing that come now. They come now in a in a plant period hood. Contraceptic implant. Um, um board control shot, board control pill, sterilization. This is how they come now. And the sterilization starts with Sega Margaret, a devil. The devil hey, the Lord gonna get you, even if you're in the grave. Are you in the already Lord gonna if you're in the grave, the Lord gonna raise you up to judge you. Now if you're in the earth right now, the Lord gonna get you and all these wicked demonic people. You understand? None of y'all not gonna escape. Because you are destroying the Lord heritage, y'all against the Lord heritage. Which is the so-called blacks, Latins, and Native American. And you men who allow your women to do this thing, y'all are y'all are retarded. You understand? Right, so that's why I just want to get over, you know. Just want to get a point over, you know. Well, with that, almost that was edifying. I want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders who rule with a great men stone and a blessed salutation to the Akiums worldwide, teaching the gospel in sincerity and truth. Shalom to the Lord's elect.